Ali, look at him. Oh, you swam under the boat. That's a long way down, I'll tell you that. What is going on everybody? Welcome to another Bama saltwater episode. Thank you for joining me today as we go fishing in the new boat again. There's a lot of stuff I can do right now with it being late March here in Southern Alabama. The water temp is 63 degrees inshore in this canal. So we're gonna, we're gonna go out into the bay and see what we can find. But before we do that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. That would be awesome and I appreciate you. Also, I'm gonna change out of pants and a hoodie and change into some shorts and t-shirt because the weather is nice. The sun is being blocked by the bridge, but it is out. So I'm gonna change, come join me, let's go fishing. forgot about my breakfast from looking good i had some from yesterday and i reheated it up man i'm telling you they're colossus well these are some squish so don't judge them on the way they look but they taste delicious this one's a regular sausage and i think i have the smoked sausage with cheddar here as well so i love these things Day three, trying to figure this remote out. Well, not trying to figure it out, but just getting used to it compared to my motor guide. Anchor right here and see what we can get. All right, I just put the trolling motor in spot lock anchor mode. Here, fishing here in Gulf Shores, just along some rip wrap and structure. But I got a couple dozen live shrimp in my angle bait cooler and I can get rigged up and get to fishing. All right, what I'm using today is just going to be a simple Carolina rig. If you go look at some of my early videos, I show how to tie this, but it's just a half ounce egg sinker, which you can adjust your weight depending on the current and let it slide, come into a small barrel swivel, 15 pound Seaguar blue label fluorocarbon and a number four owner Mewtwo light circle hook. Now I'm throwing this on Shimano Stratic CI4 plus 4,000, 20 pound power for a braid and a St. Croix Avid Inshore seven foot, six inch rod. You are capable of catching some pretty big fish in here. I mean, I'm talking about big black drum. So I'm throwing that on the 4,000. And I'm gonna get me a live shrimp out of the angle and see what we can find. And I like to hook my live shrimp right behind where the horn meets the head. Avoid the black spots and they'll stay alive for a while. There we go. This is just simple bottom fishing. So there's a bite. I know there's a lot of freaking pinfish out here. So you do go through some bait, but there was a bite. Still got my shrimp. It's been picked to death, but it's still good. That was a gorgeous boat. Thing's beautiful. Oh, that's done deal. Wow. Well, that was freaking cool. So that Viking yacht was Done Deal. That was the name of it, Done Deal. They know how to fish for some big fish. That is awesome. They got a beautiful boat too. All right, I'm gonna go try a few more spots cause I'm blowing through shrimp like crazy. I might stop back over here and try again 
maybe when the tide changes or comes in a little more. So sometimes that can make a subtle difference. But uh, let's pull the trolling motor up and uh, get cranked up and go try another spot. Try for some sheep's head here. Give me a shrimp. What was that? Oh, something's freaking ate the heck out of that shrimp, dude. <laughs> you know, that might have been sheep's head the way it freaking the way it ate it. Oh, there's a sheep. Oh, dude. All right, come on, sheepy. Do I have it? Yeah. Pinfish, all right. Not the desired species or the targeted species, but it's a fish. Oh, they hurt. Right now, dumb thing. Let me get a sheep's head, man. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> there we go. Sheep's head, baby. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Woo. Now, he's a little small. He might not keep. He might will. I don't have a net. Let's see how I'm going to get him. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful sheep's head. All right, I did just catch a keeper sheep's head. They do have to be 12 inches fork length here in the state of Alabama, which means from the tip of their mouth to the fork in their tail. So and he measured out to 13 inches, so he is a keeper and we're gonna throw him in the cooler. Let me grab another shrimp. There we go. There we go. Got one. Hmm. It's a good one. Ah, yeah, it is. It's a good one. Dang. Come on. Come on. Come up. Hmm. Spot me hard. Oh, another sheep's head. Another nice one. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Get in the boat without coming unhooked. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There we go, just caught another nice sheep's head. Measured out to be 15 and a half inches for clink, so this one's gonna go in the cooler too. All right, so I'm gonna go try somewhere else. I caught a couple sheep's head keepers, which is awesome. Now let's go continue on our fishing journey today. Cool looking shrimp boat. Coast Guard's out fixing that channel marker that got knocked over. A lot of barges pretty hit these things when the wind's strong or at night. So the buoy tenders come out and fix it. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. Look at that redfish over there. Well, the camera didn't turn on, but two of the blue angels just flew over. So, I'm gonna be fishing in about 12 foot of water here with a suspended shrimp over this inshore artificial reef. All I have rigged up is about 18 inches, 15 pounds Seaguard Blue Label fluorocarbon, a Mustad inline perfect circle hook in the one alt size, and then a small little pinch on weight right where my double uni knot is. So I'm not using a swivel. And then I'm gonna be throwing this on my Shimano Stratic 2500HG, it's pulled up 15 pound Power Pro and a seven foot Mojo Yak inshore rod. All right, and then I'm just gonna cast them lightly behind the boat. And no, uh, you don't wanna fish directly on the bottom because you will get hung up every time, especially if you use too heavy of a weight. But I'm using a small split shot and while free lining it, I'm just letting it slowly sink just on top of this reef system. 
Oh, there's a bite already. Another one. Let's see if we can get something heavy. I want a nice mangrove. Oh yeah, they are. You can see them. Look at them. You can see them chasing the shrimp. Look at that. See if, see if they come up again. Chase that shrimp. The little bitty mangrove snapper. So if you want to fish for and keep mangrove snapper, you do have to have the reef fish permit here in the state of Alabama. It's an extra license on top of your saltwater fishing license already, and you have to use a non-stainless circle hook. Oh, dang, there's a good hit. There we go. There we go, got one. Got some. It ain't giant, but it's still a decent fish. Come here. Oh, mangrove snapper. <laughs> oh, hold on, that's a trout. Oh, that's a speckled trout. Sweet. Yeah. Little speckled trout. Come on. Come on. Ain't a keeper, but still a beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at the spots on them. Yellow mouth. Speckled trout do have to be 15 inches in the state of Alabama. So he's probably 13 or 14. But beautiful fish. So let's toss him back. There you go, bud. Throw those big, big shrimp on them and see what we can do here. Look what those mangrove snapper do to this freaking shrimp. They literally pick out all the meat and the legs and the eyes and just leave nothing but the shell. If I left this down there longer, all this meat would be gone. <laughs> That's so crazy, which I could still use this, but I'm trying to fish with some livelier bait. Someone grab another shrimp. That's where the tide change is. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Man, what a pretty place this is. Look at that water. Golly, it's so pretty here. <laughs> it's awesome. That never gets old. What a beautiful, beautiful place it is. Man. So gorgeous. Look at that water. It is beautiful here. Crystal clear, everything is. Cobalt is an awesome restaurant to go eat, especially for dinner. Their food is really good. They have great seafood and they have an excellent view of the islands. You can come do the dolphin tours over here too. You can do that at the wharf as well, but it's pretty cool. They got a glass bottom boat so you can see down at the bottom of the boat. You can get fuel bait, do fishing charters, stay at the Caribbean if you have a condo or rent a condo there. This place is awesome, a lot of fun stuff to do, especially if you're on vacation, but it's even fun when you live here because it's a vacation every day. <laughs> but. <laughs> But I just want to do a little tour of the city here, of the main main part of the island. It's pretty, just it's just a beautiful day. I know I said that a lot, but we're gonna get going, and maybe go try to stop somewhere and fish again. If not, I'm gonna load the boat up and head home and clean the sheep's head that I do have. So, but let's go see what we can do. Polar sunglasses make it look crazy out here. I don't know if it pulls up on the on the camera as good as it would with your eyes, but it's pretty cool. There's Flipper. Whoa. Oh, kill the motor. Golly, look at him. Whoa, he just swam under the boat. That's how I killed the motor. <laughs> wow, that's cool. I had to bring out the old boonie so I don't get any more burnt than I already am. <laughs> it's like cold and it's hot at the same time, if that makes sense. It's really the wind. If it wasn't windy, it would be perfect. But between the wind and the water, it's pretty chilly. 
until you like get out of it or until you slow down so but that's why i got my good old afco hoodie i appreciate you joining me during this awesome fun beautiful day this morning but if you haven't hit that subscribe button already go ahead hit it down below if you have i appreciate you caught a couple sheep's head got a nice speck saw a little bitty mangroves and then just did some sightseeing around the island played tours for the day <laughs> no, i'm just kidding but it, it was just awesome the water was just crystal clear over there that tide was coming in a lot of boats it felt like spring and summer again but i appreciate you watching i want to thank the good lord up above for everything he does for us and we'll see you later